Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to do a recap of 2016 and all of the products that I have been loving. So all of these are like true true favorites. I do not know where I would have been without these. <laughs> they have really made me step up my makeup game and I'm so grateful for finding them because I love them so much. Like how weird is it by the way that it's already, well soon, 2017. I was going to say 16 but no. Like I really feel like 2016 just started but no. <laughs> but I'm super excited about the new year. It's always nice to have like a fresh start and it's always nice to set up goals and I really need to do that. I'm so excited for next year to make my YouTube channel like even better. I really want to take it to the next level with like cool backgrounds, a better camera, uh, I need to get a microphone, <laughs> I don't have one and stuff like that. So I'm super excited and I'm hoping that you will follow me into 2000. <laughs> I cannot talk 2017 as well and you will be even more uh, a part of my family that you already are but yeah without further ado let's get into my favorite makeup products of 2016 I really will try to make this video not like an hour long so I will not talk about the products that much but first off primer why not start in the order that you do your makeup this one is from Emile and it's the red coral one. I use this so much and I've been talking about it so much. It's just the best. Like it doesn't really help with oiliness or anything like that. But it just makes your foundation glide on so much easier. And I really love how it color corrects and also just gives a nice glow to the skin. For foundation I just wanted to pick out one that I was truly truly loving and have been throughout the year. And I picked the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wearing Liquid L Lipstick, I was going to say, foundation. Uh, I have it in shade 0.5, it's the lightest shade, I think. I did a first impression on this and I loved it then and I love it now. It's just so nice. I have it on today. It's just a great, great product. I think it would suit like pretty much every skin tone or skin type I mean. <laughs> For concealer I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This one is a color corrector in the shade pink. I use it underneath my eyes. It looks uh, amazing. And then I have the lightest shade for the concealer. It's the Fair Neutral one. And I love them. Powder was the easiest thing to pick out for sure. This one is the Neve Cosmetics Flat Perfection Velvet Matte Powder. I have already been through two of these and it's already like hit pan. I don't really know what is the like thing about this but the powder is so fine and it just makes you look airbrushed. Like flawless, it's like you use the Facetune like smoothing tool <laughs> when you use this. Um been using it today. I used like pretty much all of these products today just to show you guys. Uh, it's vegan, it's just great and this powder is my baby. I would die without this, <laughs> I feel like. For blush I have these two from Isadora. I have been loving pretty much all shades of the uh, perfect blushes from Isadora. Ah! I dropped it, it's okay. These two are my ultimate favorites. I have the Bare Berry and Dusty Rose. It's just these perfect, like I think Dusty Rose would look amazing on every skin tone. It's just this perfect blush color that pretty much everyone wants nowadays. And then the Bare Berry, it's a bit more like brownish red. Uh, but it just looks amazing. Today I have on the Dusty Rose one and it's super nice and they blend perfectly and they are not too pigmented which I love. I really want to be able to like pack on a blush then ready to put on too much right away, you know? For highlighter this one is a new favorite but I just know already that I will be loving it. 
throughout the entire 2017 and it is the Jeffree Star uh, what is it called? Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I have it on today and it's just the most amazing one ever. For lashes I have the NYX Wicked Lash in Corrupt or slash Corruption. I have them on today. They are just the most amazing like doll eye lashes. I am actually really picky when it comes to lashes. For one, I will not use lashes with a thick lash band. I hate it, it's uncomfortable, it hurts my eyes. I do not use them at all. And two, lashes with like too much hair in them, like when they are too uh, thick so you can't really see the eyeshadow and everything that you've been like putting a lot of work into when you use lashes that just hide that um, I don't really see the point with that so I don't like that these ones I have probably bought like 10 of them I love them so much they're very nice okay mascara was also a very very easy choice this one is the Isadora Grand Volume Lash Styler Mascara. This one is the most amazing mascara ever. I have gone through, I don't know, three of these and I have a lot of mascaras. So that says something when I don't use them, I go and buy this one. <laughs> For eyeliner, I have two favorites. First off is the Inglot Gel Liner number 77. It's just the black shade. I love these ones. I have a lot of different colors with these. I did use this one like in every makeup look ever in the start of 2016. But why I haven't used it right now is because it has kind of dried out, uh, which sucks. But I heard that you could buy like some kind of oil also from Inglot. So I will be buying that or I will just buy another one. Uh, because I love it so much. This is the one that will not budge. You can cry, you can, I don't know, sleep and it won't budge. Uh, you can probably like go swimming, I don't know. It's the best, it won't budge if you don't like take it off with a oil makeup remover. The other eyeliner that I have been loving is from Urban Decay and it's called Perversion. I do not like these pen eyeliners. But this one is good. And why I don't usually like them is because they dry out so quickly. But this one I have had since like the summertime. <laughs> so it's been a true trooper. Can you say that? I don't know. And it does go quicker to do your eyeliner with this than with the gel liner. So um, yeah. But I love them both. And now for like the like ultimate favorite. I do not know what I would do without this. It has just saved all of my makeup looks when I use lashes, ah, fake lashes, obviously. And this one is the Duo Brush On Adhesive Glue. It is latex free. It has some vitamins in it, it says. I don't know, who cares? And it's a brush on adhesive, which I think is so much easier, quicker, like better than to use these tubes. I hate them. And I have really noticed throughout this year that I'm very sensitive to latex. When I found this, I have been starting to use false lashes like pretty much every day because it's so simple to just brush it on, put it on, it dries super quick will hold the entire day like for sure and it doesn't hurt my eye i recommend and i love <laughs> and now i will go through some makeup brushes that has just made the biggest difference in how i apply my makeup and i love them so so much <laughs> first off is also kind of a new favorite but i just love it so much i use it every single day this one, I do not really remember the name. I think it's just called the Flat Foundation Brush. It is from Neve Cosmetics. It is super quick, I promise you. I don't really know what it is with this and that makes it different from other flat 
brushes because I hate every other but I don't know it's just amazing it looks cute my favorite blush brush is this one from Yax Beauty it's the number 13 it is vegan all of my brushes are vegan by the way <laughs> um, and it's just really really nice Favorite contour brush is this one from Vanity Planet. It does not have a name, but I love it. It is this like very small contour brush. For highlighter, I have been using this from LH Cosmetics. It is the 306 brush. I think they would be great for like contouring as well. If you really want to like just love your cheekbones, but I use it for highlighting the most. And for eye brushes, these are some of my favorites. This one from LH Cosmetics, it's the 333 brush. I use this for eyebrows, like pretty much every day. It is a very fine um, slanted brush that I love. And then I also from LH Cosmetics, the 304 brush. It's just perfect for in the crease and putting on color. It's very dense and super nice. Then when I use the Ingla Gel Liner, I always use this one from Sigma. It's the E06 Winged Liner. It just makes my wings look perfect. I've been using it today and I just love how it turns out every single day. And then I have these two. These are very similar. This one is from Urban K and it's called the E201. And this one is from Real Techniques and it's called Multitask, what? Multitask Eye Brush. It is very similar, it's great for like in the crease or whatever. I've been using this one today for my entire makeup, only this one. Love it so much. And now for some palettes that I have been loving. This one is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals been using it today. I love it. I I love these like very warm tone, almost red shades. And then I have this one from Makeup Geek. This is just a empty like magnetic case for uh, single eyeshadows. But in here, oops, looks gross. I have these five are from Makeup Geek and are like my favorites. The other shades right here, uh, how many is it? Five are from NYX. And then I have a super small one from Inglot that I got for free when I bought a lot of stuff. I love these shades, I love the color scheme and I pretty much always use this when I go traveling. And next one is this from ALH Cosmetics. It is the Infinity Palette. I just love this palette. I've been loving it so much ever since I got it. I use this shade Cigar as contour pretty much every single day. I use the shade Fornax for my brows. I use it today. I use it pretty much also every single day. It's just a great everyday, like all around palette. And now for the last favorites, of course, I'm going to show you some of my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite liquid lipsticks. And why I'm saying liquid lipsticks is because I pretty much only have favorite liquid lipsticks. I just love the staying power of them. And yeah, I don't really use regular lipsticks anymore. So for Jeffree Star, I have a Dominatrix that I have in the middle of my lips today. And then I have Unicorn Blood. And I just got Unicorn Blood. I've had Dominatrix for like the entire year. But this one is just the perfect red. I love it so much. It is so similar to uh, Lime Crime's Wicked. And... As you guys can see, Wicked is not there anymore. It is completely out. <laughs> so this is a great replacement. And then my favorite Lime Crime liquid lipsticks. As I said, Wicked, but it is out. But I now have the Unicorn Blood, so I will probably not repurchase that for a while. Maybe, I don't know. Who, who knows? <laughs> and then I have these two nudes. I love these ones so much. This one is cashmere uh, that everyone loves. Then I also have marshmallow that is more brownish and then also the purple one is called Jinx. My favorites from NYX is the NYX Lip Lingerie. I have the shade Corset, I have the shade Embellishment and the shade 
honeymoon. And then for some color, these ones are from Gerard Cosmetics. I have a ruby slipper, which is this very dark red. It is very, very nice, even though it does dry quite a lot. So I don't really like the texture of them as much as the other ones. But for like having them on for a few hours, they are perfect. And then I have these two. I think these two are a lot better in the like formula than the other one. This one is Summer Lovin', that is this hot pink that I love. And then I have West Coast, that is like a hot coral. I use these so much during the summertime, you guys know. They are amazing and I love them. Why am I saying all the time that I love them? <laughs> you guys already know that, that's what I'm showing you. And for the last products, I have my favorite Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. First off, I have this shade Aisha and it's just this very unique light purple. I have a lot of light purples in my collection, but this one is so like muted and I don't know, I just love it so much. Can I stop saying that I love it? I'm so sorry, you guys. And then I have the shade Exorcism that is this dark plum cranberry reddish purple. Kind of. And then the one that I have on my lips today on the outer corner is called Damned and it's this super dark brown shade. Alright you guys, so that is my favorites of 2016. I have been loving a lot of stuff. I really hope you guys made it through this entire video. If not, then whoops. <laughs> Next year I will make it shorter, maybe. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all for being subscribed to my channel, for watching my videos, for leaving cute comments and liking my videos. I am so grateful for having you. I do not know where I would be without YouTube and you guys. And it's just so weird to think about, but I'm so happy about this and I'm I'm so happy that I will that I can be able to work with this and I really hope you guys see that I really love this so much <laughs> and I just hope that I can improve a lot through 2017. I think that I've been improving so much throughout this year and I've seen that you guys also think that with like how I speak and how comfortable I am uh, through the camera. I really hope you guys had an amazing 2016. I hope you guys will have an amazing New Year's for you guys who celebrate now the uh, 31st. And yeah, we will see each other in the next year. How weird to say. <laughs> but we will. Thank you so much for being here for me. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Every single one of you. Bye.